Hello and welcome back to ASAV on Azure video series. In previous video, I talked about Cisco ASAV installation using a template and also talked about availability sets. So this video uh, is dependent on the previous video. If you have not seen it already, uh, I request you to pause this video and go back to the previous video and view it first before moving ahead in this uh, video. In this video, I will be showcasing how to scale out our deployment. So um, here is the agenda. So I'll talk about scale out design and how we can achieve scale out design. And then at the end of the video, I will showcase a live demo and show you traffic flow. So in this example, we have public facing load balancer where all the internet users or external users will in, uh, will send request. And behind this load balancer, I have multiple ASAs sitting in same availability set. And these ASAs are added in the load balancing pool of the external load balancer. And the external load balancer is tracking uh, health of each ASA using a probe. Probe can be based on uh, TCP port or um, like TCP 22, TCP 80, TCP 443. Using that, uh, using that probe, uh, all uh, the status of the ASAs are tracked. The moment ASA is uh, down, uh, that ASA is removed out of the uh, pool and uh, the ava next available ASA will receive traffic. So um, in this traffic flow, users will initiate traffic from outside. Load balancer will receive it based on load balancing pool. pool. Traffic is forwarded to uh, the ASA. Now, uh, when I talk about load balancing mechanism, we, we will uh, configure five tuple load balancing. And uh, the moment ASA will receive traffic, we will translate destination to IP address of the web server and source as the IP address of the egress interface. So that when web server will reply, web server will respond back to the ASA from which a request initially came. This way, we will maintain symmetry of the traffic. The other deployment model is when you have multiple ASAs behind load balancer and you have multiple front end IP addresses. Now, this gray line indicates that uh, traffic is coming to front end IP1, and this black line indicates that traffic uh, is coming to front end IP address 2. So, uh, we apply the same logic and uh, forward traffic or load balance traffic to all the ASAs available in the pool. The second uh, or the third design is the most com commonly deployed design where we have a front end load balancer or public facing load balancer load balancing traffic across the ASAs and the second load balancer is the internal load balancer which is responsible for uh, load balancing traffic across the um, applications or web servers. Now in this example, will uh, the moment ASA will receive traffic, ASA will rewrite uh, source as the egress interface and destination as the internal IP address or the uh, IP address of the internal load balancer. And now the moment internal load balancer will receive traffic, it will uh, load uh, balance across the services based on the uh, load balancing configured there. On the way back, since uh, packet has the IP address of uh, uh, ASAs, uh, it will go back to the uh, original ASA and then it will take the way out. So uh, one thing we need to keep in mind that um, these ASAs are independent and there is no state syncing. So in case of a failure, we need to reinitiate that session. So I'll go ahead and pause this video and log into that portal. Um, and I will show you uh, a previously deployed uh, uh, environment and I will showcase how the traffic will flow. Welcome back. I'm now connected to uh, dashboard of Azure. I'll show you my current deployment. So I have two ASAs, uh, ASA001 and ASA002 added to uh, availability set AVS. I'll just go ahead and expand uh, availability set AVS. I have ASA001002 and on inside of the ASA I have a couple of uh, IIS servers running and uh, management uh, interfaces, public facing interface or interface which goes towards the load balancer. I'll just show you um, uh, configuration of my load balancer. This is my load balancer ELB uh, which is the public facing load balancer 
in this load balancer I have probes uh, con configured so when I open probes I'm using port 22 to track my ASAs I'll I'll go ahead and go back and show you my backend pool under backend pool uh, I have two ASAs defined ASA001 and ASA002 I'll step back and I will show you my front end IP address I'll just go ahead and copy this IP address for now and let me uh, go ahead and uh, show you my load balancing rules so I have uh, configured four rules uh, uh, the first rule is for port 80 so uh, if I expand this uh, I'm saying uh, if any anybody is hitting on port 80 on this public address so use this backend pool BK uh, pool uh, in this BK pool I have two ASAs uh, ASA001 and ASA002 and use these probes to uh, to, uh, to track health of each ASA likewise I have uh, uh, different rules like port 443 port 8080 and port 8090 uh, before I um, run this demo I'll just go back and um, take you to the ASAs uh, and let me show you uh, there is specific um, requirement on the interface level which you need to do otherwise traffic will not um, uh, go through so I'll just go to ASA uh, and go to um, NIC0 on ASA NIC0 uh, I will um, go to uh, network security groups under network security groups you will see all the traffic that I need to allow is part of the inbound security rule. So I have allowed port 80, port 22, 8080, and 8090. Okay, I'm back uh, and I'm connected to dashboard again. So um, I'll just go back to external load balancer and go to load balancing pool. I have uh, rules for port 80, 443, and 8080 and 8090. Each of these rules are going to different IIS servers uh, located on inside of the firewall. I'll click on the front end IP address and I will copy this IP address. Now I will open internet browser and try to access port 80 of this IP address. I'm able to access one of the um, uh, IIS server located on the inside of the device. So I'll just go ahead and type show connection all include colon port 80 space. I'll just check on which firewall this connection landed. So it came on the uh, ASA2. I'll just copy this IP address again and try this for port port 80 90 and let me try same thing for 80 90 as well so for port 80 90 this connection came to ASA 1 so likewise we can load balance uh, our traffic active active some traffic will go to uh, first device some traffic will go to other device and if you have uh, multiple devices in a uh, load balancing pool uh, your traffic will be load, load balanced across all the devices available in the load balancing pool uh, with this uh, I've reached uh, end of the video end of this video and uh, uh, stay tuned for next video then thank you for watching